Hello students, we will discuss this case study problem here. Here they have given an auditorium. Seats are arranged in rows and column wise. The number of rows were equal to the number of seats in each row. This is the first case. When the number of rows were doubled and the number of seats in each row was reduced by 10. The total number of seats increased by 300. Now, based on this case, we have to answer the following questions. Okay, wow. So now, actually, the number of rows, suppose this is a row. How, in the, this is one row and how many seats are here? Five seats. Suppose in the first case, there were five rows and five columns. I mean, five seats in each row. So, altogether, how many seats in that first case? X into X. I mean, X square. See, 5 rows. So, this is almost like a concept called matrix. So, here, suppose we have 5 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the number of rows are equal to number of seats in each column. 5 seats in each col in each row. So, altogether, how many chairs or seats we have here is x into x. I mean, 5 into 5, 25. And here in this case, in the first question, they are asking if x is taken as number of rows in original arrangement. In the first arrangement, if you assume x as number of rows, which of the following quadratic equation will describe the situation? So, to, x, uh, to derive the equation, let us take the number of rows as x. As it is given, the number of seats in each row is same as the number of rows. I am taking number of seats in each row as x. Number of rows x and number of seats in each row is x. Total number of seats will be number of rows into number of seats in each row. That is x into x which is x square. So x square will give you the total number of seats okay and we are arranging we are rearranging that auditorium so in the rearrangement what are we doing we are just doubling the row what is happening we are just doubling the row which means number of rows will be 2x and we are reducing the number of seats in each row by 10 so the number of seats in row will be x minus 10 okay and now the total number of seats after rearrangement the there will be an increase of 300 in seats okay so 2x 2x will be the number of rows after arrangement and x minus 10 will be the number of uh, seats in each row after rearrangement so to know the number of seats after rearrangement we are just multiplying those two 2x into x minus 10 which is equal to already in the auditorium we have x square uh, number of seats okay with that we are adding 300 okay 2x into x minus 10 which is equal to the x square plus 300 now we are just multiplying them as a result we are getting 2x square minus 20x which is equal to the x square plus 300 so 2x square we are transposing this to there. So, 2x square minus, I will show you that calculation part. x square, 2x square minus x square will be x square minus 2x square already existing. And we are transposing 300 to left hand side. So, we are getting this expression. So, what is this? This is the quadratic equation which is describing the given scenario. So, option A will be the right one. Okay. 2x will be the number of rows after rearrangement. x minus 10 will be the number of seeds in each row after rearrangement. The product of these two will give us the number of seeds. Okay. So, I hope you understood this. Now, we will move to the next question. Now, what are they saying? How many number of rows are there in the original arrangement? So, in the original arrangement means initial case. In the initial case, uh, we had x number of rows. 
x number of seeds in each row okay so we have found the equation which which describes the given scenario that is nothing but x square minus 20x minus 300 equal to 0 and we will find x value we will solve this quadratic equation so when while solving this minus 300 so the product of minus 30 and 10 will give us minus 300 and the sum of these two will be minus 20 so i have written like this now we have taken x common in this first two terms 10 common in the second third and fourth term and after factorization i got this expression and either these two are equal so we will e we will say x minus 30 equal to 0 and x will be 30 x plus 10 equal to 0 as a result we got x as minus 10 okay number of rows can't be negative yes this is invalid x so we are taking x as 30 so the number of rows in the first case i mean before arrangement it was 30 and the number of seeds in each row again 30 okay so option d will be the right one here and we are moving on to third question how many number of seeds are there in the auditorium in original arrangement as i said already to know the number of seats in the auditorium, we have to multiply total number of rows with number of seats in each row. So, total number of rows means in the first before arrangement, there were x rows and x seats in each column. So, the product of these two will give us x square. As we have found x as 30 in the second problem, we are substituting x as 30 and x square is 900 now so 900 shares were there okay now moving on to fourth question how many number of seeds are there in the auditorium after rearrangement okay so we are rearranging after rearranging so in the second arrangement what are we doing we are just doubling the number of rows and reducing the number of number of uh, seeds in each row by 10 okay so and we are already we are already given a scenario in which we uh, the number in the second case the number of um, the number of seeds are increased by 300 so already existing number of um, seeds are 900 with that we are adding existing number of seeds are 900 with that we are adding 300 as a result we will get 1200 so 1200 seeds will be in the new arrangement i mean a second arrangement okay now moving on to the fifth subdivision fifth question what are they saying here how many number of columns are there in the auditorium after rearrangement see in the rearrangement what is happening we are doubling that rows which means initially there, there was there were 30 rows okay and we are just doubling that which means 60 rows we are creating 60 rows we are we are making 60 rows and we are um, reducing number of seeds in each row by 10 which means third x x by 10 x minus 10 so x was the number of rows and from that you are we are reducing 10 as a result we are getting 20 so 30 minus 10 30 minus 10 will give us 20 so option b will be the correct one even if you want you can uh, you can cross verify with this one so 1200 will be the new number of seats after a uh, number of seats after arrangement 1200 so 1200 will 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 be uh, derived by the product of 60 and 20 60 is 2 times of x and 20 is x minus 10 so x is 30 when x is 30 so with this we are verifying the number of seeds in each i mean number of seeds are nothing but number of columns see in this one if the horizontal things are represented as rows the vertical lines will be called as columns okay so these columns represents the number of seats isn't it so we can say we have 20 columns
columns which means 20 seats will be there 20 seats are there per row after rearrangement okay or else we can state it as number of columns hope you understood this case study problem okay thank you